Welcome to Swine U. I'm Seth Plater and joining me today is Jesus Garcia. Jesus is a pork production specialist, specialist with Zoetis Pork. In today's episode, we're going to talk about vaccinations. So thank you, Jesus, for joining us today. Thanks, Seth. You bet. Vaccines are an important part of protecting our herds against diseases that could be damaging and cost prohibitive for our systems. You know, and diseases are not only viruses, but they're bacteria as well. That's correct. And actually, when we're injecting a pig, we're giving a pig that version of a microorganism of that disease that is going to help protect the pig and activate its immune system against the disease. Another good reminder is that antibiotics aren't vaccines. Vaccines are used in the prevention of diseases, whereas antibiotics are used in treating those diseases. That's correct. Now let's look at what vaccines are necessary. Hey, Seuss, when I think about all the diseases that a pig can encounter and what we may have to do to help those pigs, my list is pretty long. That's true. Vaccinating against every disease can be very costly. So you have to work with your veterinarian to analyze which diseases you have to vaccinate against in your herd, which ones are the ones that are going to pertain to your system the most. Yeah, you know, that's right. When I talk with customers uh, that I that I have, we really have to do a little bit of a cost analysis to make sure that we are covering those diseases, or at least we have an idea of which ones are maybe the most probable that we're gonna encounter in that flow or that herd. Absolutely. Doing a cost analysis or a benefit analysis of that vaccine is definitely a good route to go before you develop a vaccination program. They say timing is everything, and that's especially true when it comes to vaccines. That's true, Seth. You know, in ideal circumstances, we would get those vaccines and those pigs before they ever encountered an environment where those microorganisms were, were around. That's correct. And really that's because that piglet needs anywhere between 10 to 21 days to start developing its immune system to be protected against these diseases. Being late to the party can really be disastrous when it comes to mortality or, and higher mortality rates. And of course, profit loss margins. Of course. No matter what the vaccine protocol is, I always remi remind people to uh, read the label carefully. That's right. My advice would be to not only go off of by the trade name, but I'll also look at what microorganisms and diseases that vaccine covers. Because you might be over vaccinating for one disease and under vaccinating for another. Yeah, just like I learned in grade school, you gotta follow those label directions. That's correct. The label not only talks about ways to administer the vaccine, but it also talks about how to handle and store the vaccine, as some of these are required to be refrigerated and or away from sunlight. Yeah, and when you can't follow directions or you do it wrong and handle them incorrectly, you're kind of maybe flushing that money down the drain, you know, you're kind of doing it in vain. There's no reason for it and, you, and you're and you wasting your, your hard earned dollars. Yep. The next thing that we're gonna be talking about is vaccine record keeping. Now, Jesus, I can't even walk into a grocery store without a list, let alone know how my, what vaccines I'm using, the dosage amount, what each one is doing and when I last did it. It's the same for me, son. That's why you should work with your Sioux Nation Ag Rep and veterinarian to develop a vaccination program and record keeping for your herd. Records should include the current vaccinations you're using in your herd. That's right. Each production phase should include the name of the product, the route it was given through, the dosage, when it was given, the person responsible for administrating the product, and the pre-slaughter withdrawal date. Hey, Seuss, I'm often asked how frequently they should revisit their vaccine protocols. Industry standard is to reevaluate your vaccination program yearly. You could also or should consider National Pork Producers Council Pork Quality, Quality Assurance Program, PQA. You know, and the other thing is, is you can always reach out to a Sioux Nation field advisor or veterinarian to discuss the PQA process for more information. Okay, so I've decided what vaccines I need. I've stored them properly. I read all the label instructions. Now I can still have some issues if given improperly? Correct. We need to evaluate proper administration techniques. Uh, we need to ensure the proper restraint of the animal prior to injection. Examine syringes for proper adjustment and needle placement onto the syringe. 
Avoid bent or broken needles. Needles should be cleaned to avoid swelling and developed abscesses at the injection site. We should also inject only into clean, dry areas. To prevent contamination, do not, do not use the same needle that was used to inject the pig to remove product from a multi-dose vial. Also replace needles after injecting 20 pigs. Needles have different gauges and lengths, so select the needle size by determining the injection technique and the production stage. Lastly, communicate with your veterinarian about potential adverse drug and vaccine reactions. Hey, Seuss, we spent a great deal of time today talking about vaccinations. However, we need to remember that good management is always key. That's right. A stressful environment, may that be because of improper nutrition or other factors, can have a negative effect on that pig's immune system, making it harder for vaccines to control the disease. You know, most of the time, good quality feed, good air, and good sanitation are the best ways to manage diseases. That's right. A good biosecurity plan will also help protect the farm against the introduction of new diseases. By using specific flows and using an all-in and all-out process will keep pigs from separate ages from introducing to one another, and then we'll keep that disease pressure off those pigs. Correct. And Zoetis has more information on pig management programs and on their website, zoetisus.com. As always, check out sunationag.com to check out other podcasts, as well as more episodes of Swine U and see other articles that we put together. Again, wanna thank Jesus for joining us today and the great folks at Zoetis. We'll see you all next time. Thank you, Seth. It's our pleasure.